All right, let's start. Okay, everyone, a standard revision. We will revise page 30 for post from 8.1. I believe that uh, Mr. Mark has already solved it at page 2. Okay, and I also have solved it to A3, but uh, it's a kind of revision. So today we are uh, talking about using adverb that modifies adjective. Abdurrahman, can you tell me about the adverb? Abdurrahman, hello. Good job. Yes. Yes. Uh, 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 adverb modifies, modifies, uh, modifies adjective. Bravo. What's your name? Faisal. Faisal. Bravo, Faisal. The adverb modifies adjective. That's very, very good. Only adjective, Faisal? What, teacher? Only adjective? No, no. no it can also modify I... what? The, the adverb modifies adjective. What else? And the adjective modifies noun. Bravo, that's very, very good, very good. Okay, so as Faisal said, guys, adjective modifies noun. On the other hand, Abdurrahman, adverb modifies what? Abdurrahman. Uh, adverb modifies noun. Really? No, 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 no. Uh, verb, uh, adjectives, and verb, itself. adjective, and other. Hmm. And itself. Yeah, itself, bro. Not itself, other adverbs, not itself. So, simply, guys, uh, just a kind of revision again. Uh, as Faisal said, uh, adjective, any adjective modifies the noun. Like when I say uh, Mo Salah is a good player. Good player. So the adjective good here modifies the noun player, which refers to Musala. Okay. On the other hand, an adverb modifies number one, a verb. Number two, adjective. Number three, another adverb. So an adverb can modify first, adjective, second, adverb, and third, and most importantly, a verb. Okay, so today we are talking about the adverb that modifies the adjective, not the verb or another adverb. So as you all know, when adverbs modifies adjective, they answer, uh, answer only one question. To what extent? To what extent? So if you ask yourself uh, this question, the uh, word that will answer the question is uh, the adverb that modifies the adjective. Like, for example, when I say that was an extremely loud music, extremely loud music. So I have here loud is an adjective describing the noun noise. And extremely is an adverb modifying the adjective loud. So if I said that to what extent was the music, so I say it was very loud or extremely loud. Another example, my cat is incredibly cute. To what extent uh, your cat is cute? Uh, it's incredibly cute. So in uh, practice number eight, underline each adverb that modifies an adjective. The adverb only modifies the adjective and circle its adjective or the adjective it uh, modifies. And do not and, uh, underline adverbs that modify other verbs or adverbs. Number one, Faisal. Okay, I am quite proud of your Jackie. So, where is the adverb? The adverb is quiet and the Bravo. Adverb. Bravo, very good, Faisal. And guys, when you have an adverb that modifies an adjective, it will all for the adjective. So, you'll have the adverb first, and after it comes the adjective. Under hand number two. Abdurrahman, are you having your breakfast? Yes. <laughs> Come on, map number two. Uh, number two. Uh, the evening was truly magical. Uh, the adverb is uh, truly. Bravo. The adjective is magical. Bravo, very good. Anyone else, guys, with a mic? Anyone with a mic, please answer me. 
Even if you don't know the answer. I can do the You okay? What's your name? Faisal. Again, Faisal? Okay, again, Faisal. Number three. Paco seems more sincere, sincere than Wesley. Okay, Paco seems more sincere than Wesley. More, uh, more adverb. Bravo. Very good, very good, Faisal. Number four, anyone else? Me, teacher, me. What's your name? Talal. What? Talal, Talal. Talal, how are you doing, Talal? I believe I know you, Talal. Okay, number four, Talal. I am truly angry with John for going. The adverb, truly, and the angry. And the adjective is? Angry. Uh, angry, angry. Bravo, very good, Talal. Bravo. Number five, anyone want us to join us? Me, teacher. Okay. Uh, the painting looks carefully crafted, but artistically, artistically is the ad, the adverb and empty the adjective. Bravo. Any anything else? Only yes. artistically and empty. Carefully and crafted. So first we have a skeletally, bravo, and the adjective is crafted, and also we have uh, artistically an adverb, and its adjective is empty. Very good. You are Muhammad, right? No, I'm Abdurrahman Ibrahim. Abdurrahman. Okay, thank you, Abdurrahman. Number six. Anyone from 8182? 83? Uh, okay, I'm good. Faisal. Your name? Faisal? Okay, Faisal. This coat is really warm on this specially cold night. So you have? Really warm. Really? And the adjective is warm? Warm is an adjective. Literally is an adverb. Cold is a... Bravo, bravo, very, very good. Okay, number seven. Hmm. Anyone? Ahmed, Nahar, Yusuf, Salim, Matel. Anyone? Okay, going back to Abdurrahman. Then, yes, teacher. Okay, number seven. Okay, number seven. Number seven is uh, 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 with, the, uh, with uh, such very juicy details, the story almost inevitably uh, writes itself. Very is uh, an adverb, and juicy is uh, an adjective. All right, very good, Dr. Rahman. Stop here, please, Dr. Rahman. Okay, find me another two adverbs in this sentence. Almost is... Uh... Almost? No, 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 no. Yeah, almost is an adverb. That's right. Uh, give us another one. Uh, I think it was... Inevitably, uh, it was an adverb. Inevitably is an adverb. Yes, another one. Uh, and rights. Is it no, rights is a verb. Come on, I'll come and hit you. No, you said that. You said it was There's rice. another one. Come on, find it. It's all. Anyone can find the third one? Such, such. Yes. Such, Rachel, bravo. Such. Raheem, welcome back. Hi. Okay, <laughs> so guys, here we have. First, we have such is an adverb. Very is an adverb. Juicy is an adjective. Uh, almost adverb uh, and vitably is an adverb so mr why didn't i underline such uh, or almost or even uh, inevitably because simply guys uh, in the question here we only need the adverb that modifies the adjective here such uh, modifies another adverb which is very almost is an adverb modifying another adverb in vitably. okay so in the exam do not mix things Read the question carefully first before you answer. Okay, thank you, Abrahman and Brahim. Okay, Brahim, answer number eight, please. Dalia grew terribly. Disappointed. Terribly disappointed because the concert was really loud. 
So terribly, terribly disappointed and really loud. Terribly is an adverb. Bravo, disappointed the adjective, and we have really, and the adverb is loud. Bravo, Brahim. Uh, number nine. Who wants to answer? Yes, your name. If you are from eight one or eight two, please say your name until I just. Uh, 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 what is it? Abraham? It is entirely possible that our efforts will be completely successful. Entirely yes. adverb possible is Bravo. an adjective. Bravo. Completely is an adverb and successful is an adjective. Very, very good. Thank you very much. Last but not least, number 10. It seems uh, perfectly plain that to me that Mark was never serious. So the first one we have, guys, is anyone? Talal? Hello, sir. Yes. The answer is yes. Uh, seems adverb perfect. No, yeah. perfectly adverb or adjective. Okay. Perfectly is an adverb, bravo, and plain is an it's adjective. Okay, what about serious here? Are you serious? Are you angry? Are you happy? Are you sad? Adverb, serious so adjective. Never the adverb and serious is the adjective. Very good. Very, very good guys. Okay. Uh, you can take a screenshot or uh, I have already started the record, so you can come back later on class era. Okay, and number two, fill in the plank to add an adverb that implies an adjective. And here, guys, the answer may vary according to your own perspective. So you can add any adverb. Any adverb here will be considered to be correct. Okay, uh, number one. Anyone? Abdurrahman? Not Abdurrahman, and then the other Abdurrahman. Yes. Okay, number one. Minute is, is really dedicated. Bravo, really dedicated, uh, dedicated. Okay, very good. Uh, remarkably, uh, very okay. Number two, hmm. come on, someone jumps in. Raheem, face, Bachman, Sarah, okay, 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 okay. yes. Two, Jocelyn feels uh, deeply, deeply satisfied with her job. Completely. Very good. Nice. Uh, I can see deeply, completely, uh, very, almost such. Bravo. Very good. Okay. Number three, I am plank suspicious of Pahi's explanation. So we can add. Any adverb, guys? Okay. Here we can let's say slightly suspicious. Number four, the pine tree is losing its black green needles. So I can say it's dark green needles. Mr. Rodkey moves the plank fast for a 90 year old man. So here we can say pretty fast, rather fast, almost fast. Uh, inquire pounce uh, pack uh, from uh, the rejection uh, uh, surpre uh, surprisingly well that's and plank hipless uh, handbag uh, to reset the uh, absolutely hipless health uh, officials are fighting against uh, the potentially dangerous uh, flu virus uh, and they actually are uh, uh, fighting right now against coronavirus in case uh, and almost in all the world. Number nine, she peeled the slick uh, print of that uh, tingly uh, glistening mango. Number uh, 10, last but not least, we have uh, quite anger. And as I told you, in uh, practice number B here, you can add any adverb. Any adverb will be considered correct. You don't have to say uh, remarkably or deeply or slightly. You can just change its uh, order and the sentence will still to be correct. All right.